to know something? No. I always... <laughs> You're going to make me ask. What was it? You'll never know. <laughs> Group hug. I told you earlier to smart my ass. Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> Why? They're going to be like, why would that ever happen in a relationship? Every relationship happens. Every one of your relationships, yes! it happens. Anyway. Some people <laughs> like it. Is you embarrassed? I'm not embarrassed. I am not embarrassed about the things that we do together. You look really pretty today. You look really pretty. I like your eyebrows. Do you? I like them thick. My hair's a bit fluffy. Yeah, I like your hair. I oh. don't. So basically, when sorry, I know you're probably witnessing a conversation, but that's what they like. Get over it. So basically, they like when that. I use that big shampoo from yeah, Lush, no, no spawn, no spawn, um, it goes really, really big. Yeah. And sometimes I don't really know what to do with it. I like it big. Oh, lip glossy, gluey gloss. I like it. First things first. Mm. It was you... Queemus the other day. Okay. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> you keep saying Queemus and not Christmas to people that don't know that you have a baby voice. I know, so but, you, you literally went up to people at family at occasions. Queemus. At Queemus, like, oh, hey, you're right, do you have your Queemus? And I was like, <laughs> my mum started saying Queemus again. <laughs> she was like, don't forget your Queemus presents. I was like, she? Oh, we're matching. I know. <sighs> we are moving. We're buying a house right now. And just side note, we're not buying it outright, I wish. Yeah, yeah. what are we, YouTubers with money? Yeah, I know, straight YouTubers. Straight YouTubers, no. No, we've applied for a mortgage and we're hoping that it gets accepted. Yeah. That's where we are. Hope it gets accepted, else we'll lose our deposit and stuff. What? I'm sure it'll be fine. Not don't even worry. Don't see why it'll be rejected. We got a mortgage approved. Yeah, we've got a very stable income yeah. and a very regular job. Very. Thanks, Google AdSense. You never fail me. I'm sure that mortgage advisor's like, yeah, YouTubing? Totally consistent. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Not a risky job at all. Right decision. I've not had any regrets, and I never had any regrets about marrying you. So the two big things in my life, house and marriage, have not had any regrets. None. No. None. No. no. I was surprised. I was actually surprised at my lack of like cold feet. I never once thought, oh shit, should we be getting married? Like never. Speaking of, I'm going to rapidly change the subject because recently, whilst visiting my home, my father said to me, Rose, I found your diary. And I said, the one I told you to destroy. And he said, yes, but I thought there were many a memory in there that shouldn't be destroyed. I told you he didn't destroy it. For and years, I said, I've said him, find your diary. I said, dad, did you read it? And he said, no. But then he said, it's about you and Rosie. And he looked at me like this. And, ah! I, said, and I said, dad, did you read it? And he said, no, absolutely not. And I said, mum, did you read it? She went, oh, no. I think they both they read both it. They both read it. Can I just say so, not being rude, but you come obviously from a family of serial diary readers. What are you and, saying? And I'm glad it was read, so you know what it feels like. But on the other hand, it was also very detailed about moi. So like... Let me tell you something about this diary. First of all, I have been looking for it for, I kid you not, five and a half years. Tell them when it was written. It, it, it chronicles every single romantic engagement I, every single engagement I have had with you since 2012. And we got together at the end of 2011, so it's just like a few months after we got together. Can I just say something as well? This is what everyone on Wattpad who writes about me and Rose wishes they could write. I don't mean to be offensive, but what I mean is, uh, like, do you remember we read that really hot Wattpad thing? What was it called? It was called like, you know when Becky Potato One was like, damn. It was called something, what was it called? No, they know we did it. We made a video about it. Oh. You don't know. I thought we met the other ones. <laughs> well, yeah. But this is hotter than that. Right, this basically. Let me, let me what tell you What was it called? Thing. Rose and Rosie Short Bits or something. Short Bits? It was That's your something. nickname, mate. <laughs> so Rose went back home over Queemus and got this diary, right? And then we got together over Queemus and we read the diary, right? I cried so much. I was also extremely turned on. And then I was just like, I love you so much. It was like a roller coaster of emotions, each page. You'd be like, I hate her, I love her. Like, it would be like, on the same page, you'd be like, we're never getting back together. I love her so much, we just had sex. Like, it was so intense, like, it was amazing. Let me tell you one thing, okay. and one thing only. 
Before I start reading, and I cannot read a lot because honestly, it's just porn. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want everyone to know that this is actually gold. Also, it's heartbreakingly honest. Like, it was upsetting to read because wait, Rose is so wait, honest. Wait, wait, what, what, what just... I have to say is pages like this with things scribbled out. Let yeah. me just tell you. I something. read what was under there. So after I read Rosie's diary, I was so paranoid that you'd get hold of mine, read Guilty what function. I said, and realise that I'd read yours. How twisted is this? I started lying to my own self. In case I read your diary. To safeguard my own diary. And then at the end, I went through it, crossed things out that weren't true, and wrote the truth mm. when we broke up that one time or several times. If ever I wanted to give this to you so you knew everything about everything. You said you were going to give it to me. At the end of the diary, she's like, I'm going to give her my diary and then she'll No, know. She I didn't, didn't do, do it. it. Right, I, I also want to say something else as well that I didn't know. More stuff got revealed. So, if you've been a long-term no, fan... please don't Or tell even if you've just joined please now... Please don't shush, tell them. And you've gone back and watched our videos, you may know things like... Rose used to read my Facebook messages and I and Rose read my diary. One time, twice. Like, what I recently found out <laughs> Please don't is that when we broke up, Rose anonymously sent me Tumblr messages telling me to get back with Rose. Hey. And Rose anonymously sent herself Tumblr messages. <laughs> Like having a go at her for reading my diary so she can explain. <laughs> take it as a compliment. I do take it as a compliment. Thank Wait, you. I'm gonna be right back and get my coffee. I'll be one sec. Do you want me to pause that? Can you check if it's still recording? Yeah. Let me tell you something. People do crazy things when they're in love, all right? It's no excuse, but it's also an excuse. There are a few things I did, but the. the... Did you want a coffee, Bernie? No, thanks, Bernie. If you could hurry the fuck up, that'd be great. I'm gonna do this completely out of order and out of context because that's all I can do because I've got to try and avoid the porn. Okay. Shall we actually just read the porn? I mean, when we're desperate for views, oh. yeah. 26th of the 2nd, 2012. That's okay. the 26th of February, 2012. I know. Oh my God. Rosie's Sam Sparks impression is my weakness. I can still do that. Wait a second. We need some music. Cue music. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. If ever I'm mad at her, it'll be the ultimate weapon that'll lead to my downfall. We spent the whole weekend being hideous together. Her ass is positively toxic. <laughs> this is not so much porn, is it? Yeah. Sometimes I wonder why my asshole itches so badly. <laughs> but I know I'm not alone. <laughs> Someone's really pissing me off. It's all a fucking time with him and it's boring. It's such pathetic drama. And it's not rosy. He acts like a girl. Oh, that's so sexist. Sexist. I get why he's hurting, but he seriously needs to reassess his situation. The way he's treating her isn't going to get him back on top. She's agreed to meet up with him to talk excessively about his feelings and I can't lie, it grinds my gears. What annoys me is his total lack of regard for my presence. I dislike him more than someone else. Blank. Blank. Possibly more than chronic halitosis. I understand why she gives him the time of day, but I wish she wouldn't, because hearing about his self-indulgence is getting pretty tired. I really get on with both of them, despite Blank having previously entered my girlfriend. He seems like a good lad, someone I'll have a lot in common with. I pooed a lot tonight. Short and airy bursts. Why is it all I talk about is sex and poo? The 5th of May, 2012. I don't know how much of this I can read. Yesterday I drove to Rosie's because she asked if I wanted to come hang with her because she didn't have work until 4.30 on Saturday. Rosie was seriously hanging, so she was taking it easy. Where were you the night before? I don't know. Who were you with? I just used to drink. Who were you with? I can't remember. Really, you can't remember? It was only 2012, 5th of May. She kept rejecting me, which turned me on even more. I grinded her down though, and it was seriously sexy. The next morning was even sexier. Say it. I wound her up so badly, she practically begged me to go down on her. Carry on. <laughs> no. Nope. To say it. I, I can't. I can it's read it. It's a family it. friendly you channel. Can bleep it out. It's a family friendly channel. Right, so it's I not. I no, read it not. in a concise, marginal way. Read it in way. friend. No, just say it in friend. I was teasing her so badly with my hand and then pretended I was going to make breakfast, stopping abruptly. <laughs> 
She then grabbed me so I couldn't go and pushed me down her body. Okay, I, I have to stop. Just say it. I, no, I won't say it. Do you know why? Because I'm embarrassed. I can read it. I can't. I love it. I know you do. I absolutely love it. I love it, it too, but I just... It's very... our own porn. I know. It's our own erotica. Well, can I say something? Yes. Right, reading Rose's diary, it really annoyed me, right, for two reasons. Why? So when I, when Rose and I started dating, I wanted to move to Manchester because that's where Media City was. I I, wanted to move to Manchester and you copied me. You're laughing. I hate you. I could smack you. (laughs) I also wanted to do teaching English as a foreign language in Thailand. And Rose is like, oh, in diary, I did steal that. I'm gonna do Yeah, and you stole Manchester. I did you steal never, Manchester. Yeah, that you was, did. No, no. Media I City wanted was, to go to Manchester. No. I wanted to go to Manchester. You copied. You wanted to go to Thailand for TEFL, the course. Yeah, and then teaching I copied. English as a foreign language. And neither of us did any of them. No. My God. The past few days have been crazy, all in caps. After watching the film, we were so full. So we were so of full of YOLO, I actually wrote that down. I say YOLO all the time. That when we were shopping, I said, we should just get married like today. Then Rosie was like, oh my gosh, shall we? Should we just do it in Malvern? It turned out to be one of the best days we've ever had, heart. We planned everything and got completely caught up in our impulsiveness. I love heart. We went shopping for rings and dresses and even rang the registry office in Malvern and ended up booking a ceremony for the 31st of March. Oh my God, when did we get married? The 20th, 20th of March. March. Oh my God, it was always in March. That's crazy. Rosie said she'd love to marry her best friend slash sexy, sexy partner. partner at 22. That's what I was to you, a best friend slash sexy partner. No, you've partner. written that. You wrote that, but I didn't write that. You could have just called me the love of your life like you knew your heart wanted. I, did, I couldn't tell you, Fridge, because you kept dumping Bitch. me. If you'd never dumped me you after New You dumped me! If you'd never dumped me after New Year's Eve for no reason, I introduced you to everyone as my girlfriend, told them all I loved you and stuff, then you dumped me, and then, then, then I was... Then you got weird! Because you, you dumped, got weird! Yeah, you said if I ever had any problems, come to me and talk to her. Yeah, and, and I, I, thought you were trying, to, I thought you were trying to break up with me. Babe, I'm not being funny. Do you think I find it hard to break up with people? Even though I loved her, I didn't care how she felt about me. We spent all afternoon in town in the blazing sun in complete ignorant bliss. We talked all about the legalities of a civil partnership. Yeah, because back then it wasn't marriage, it was civil part. We couldn't get married. Yes. And so then our little bundle of bliss was broken when Laura Dix told me I was being completely ridiculous. <laughs> I knew I was, but that was half a thrill. So at the end of the evening, we sat down, watched Harry Potter and decided not to go through with it. Only the next day... When I was at home and she was at work, she texted me saying, I still want to get married. 14th of the 5th, 2012. She texted me again yesterday saying she still wants to get married. (laughs) I'm not going to do it, even though I really want to. I thought today about giving her an ultimatum, but I've decided to just leave it. Be happy and see what happens. I'm going to try not to live in hope, though. We should have just got married. No, that would have been the worst decision ever. Why? Because we would have broken up. No, we wouldn't have. Yes, we wouldn't we have. Would. This page is called The Truth, and my writing goes really, really skew if because I'm obviously very stressed. Show them what your writing normally looks like so they have an idea. You need to tell her the truth about Facebook and Twitter. And Tumblr! Get her to change her passwords. I read Facebook messages between her and blank one time because I guessed her password. Stop. Rose sat there and guessed my password. Well, you shouldn't have made it Rosie123. It wasn't Rosie123. It was. I did it because I wanted to know where I really stood because I was too afraid to ask and be hurt when all I did was turn into something horrible and invade her privacy. I fucking hate myself. It's the worst thing I've ever done in my life. I read her diary about blank one time because we were officially together and I was worried she was sleeping with him. Hang on, that's not the truth though. You did read it more than once. Yeah, I know. I lied to myself again. So it's the semi-truth. You didn't... That, that's a, if I mean, someone read my diary and Facebook messages, I struggle to forgive them, but I can't carry on with this on my conscience now that I know she's told me everything. I cared less before because I just thought her lies were worse. Now I'm not so sure. So that's the truth. I also sent a three anonymous Tumblr message to her, telling her to get back together with me. I'm a desperate, dishonest, fucking loser who deserves to fucking die. I hate myself. Despite knowing her Twitter password, I'd never log into it again to see what she said about me. I'll never invade her privacy. Rob texted me telling me she'd said something about it though. 
But I'm not blocked. even I'm not even tempted. I'll never do a single bad thing that hurts her again. I blocked Rose, so then she logged into my own Twitter to see what I tweeted. Cause no, I... no, that's what I didn't do. And your friend followed me and he rang you up and told you what I was saying. That's what friends are for. <laughs> it was so sexy when she was cuddling me before all the crazy sex happened. We just talked about sex fetishes and watched The Secretary, so I was feeling horny, capitals. <laughs> I told her not to touch me because I was seriously feeling it. She spooned me, leant into my ear and whispered, take your pants off. Then she slowly pulled down my jammy bottoms, which I borrowed from her. She told me to put my hands against the wall and shut up. She, she began fucking me from behind. And when I moaned, she told me to shut. She's going to get me into some freaky shit. I just know it. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Um. Horny, is it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's literally erotica. I mean, to be fair, we have had incredible sex over the last few days. Yeah! <laughs> because it's like brought a whole new dynamic, hasn't it? I don't really know where to go with this video now. Uh, Not that a turbulent relationship is what should keep you together, because having the foundations and trust now can't put a price on it. But I will say that this pornographic novel has done wonders for our sex life. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, I might argue with you more because basically it just makes it more passionate. There's passion there. Yeah, but it makes it more. It does, doesn't it? Should I find something to argue with you about? Pick up your jeans! Oh, that doesn't, that does nothing for me. Stop shitting yourself at family functions. None of these things are working. I slept with your mum. <laughs> so it's nothing. It's believable, isn't it? I can't argue with you. I respect you too much. Why do you respect me? I'm the biggest twat there is. You really annoy me sometimes. Do I? No. No. I am a bit annoying. Bonnie, you're so cool. I love you. <laughs> I love. I love as well. I know I can be annoying. You said I don't worry about it. I just, I'll just be a little less myself. No. Just to make sure. No. Don't knit my ear. Like knit, my, knit my ear one more time and you'll see the back of my... Oh no, abuse isn't fun. All right, guys, don't forget, if you haven't got a diary, get one because it makes for great reading six years later when you're all stable and you look back at some of the rocky times and then have passionate sex over it. It's basically erotica. Like, you should all keep a diary and write everything down and hide it from your parents and partner and then read it later. It's literally fan fiction, mm. only it's the truth. Yeah, we're lucky we're still together because else I'd be reading all this funny stuff about someone else it'd be horrible. Stay together. That's what it was like reading your diary. Oh. That's actually really upsetting. Should we argue over it? No. Yeah. Oh, I'm so mad at you from the things that I read and then lied to your face about it. Only. Yeah.